Hello traders, FS Specolette here. Today is Tuesday, July 9th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top dollar analysis. So, on the Aussie dollar, I still think we're going up as part of a WXY pattern three waves of W, three waves of X, most likely one, two, three waves up for a wave Y. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. I think on the weekly time frame, most likely this right here is the wave A of wave Y. This is a wave B of wave Y, and that makes this a wave 1 of wave C. Most likely this is an ABC, which is a 2 of C, and I think we are very likely in a wave 3 of wave C, which I still think on these much higher time frames will continue to make higher highs and higher lows. Heading down to the daily time frame, now we are sitting at the 70 percent Fibonacci retracement definitely an area of resistance and I do see the possibility of this being you know three waves down three waves up like an expanding or a running flat you know either turning into an expanding flat like that or a, possibly a running flat like this before it actually does continue the uptrend that definitely is a possibility that we need to keep in mind but I'm still pretty confident that the trend is up on the higher time frames and that it's more likely that any move to the downside is just another ABC correction to the uptrend. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, we've been very sideways so far this week. Very, very slow to start off with on the US dollar pairs. I don't see any significant break of stretch to the downside. The last stretch level for me is way down here. So I got my Fibonacci retracement on here. I'm definitely still looking for three ways down. I'm still looking for Fibonacci bounces to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. Taking it right down to the one hour time frame, like I said, very, very, very sideways this so far this week. You would kind of expect that this move right here would be like, you know, part of a five way pattern, like a wave A possibly, and maybe this is actually going to go up, but it's actually a wave B, and then it possibly goes down again for a wave C. We don't really have any dollar news today, so I think it's going to continue to be overlapping and corrective, which I think is why this makes the most sense for it to make, you know, five ways down, like a leading diagonal wave A, three ways up for a wave B, and five ways down for a wave C. Now, if it does go down and break this Fibonacci, uh, break this structure level, then that definitely could cause you to start looking for sorts. Or, you know, if you are a scalper, you could definitely try to sort the end of this wave B for the wave C, but I definitely still think the bigger, better money is to be made by patiently waiting for more long opportunities at the end of ABC Corrections. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.